All right, this is a test. We're gonna try and actually look at what's in the box we recently received. So this was sent to me by a buddy on Discord. He um, went into a comic book store and the guy had, the comic book store owner had a bucket basically of Warhammer and stuff, to put it lightly. Um, oh my God. So for starters, we're gonna look at um, what's in the box this really the first time opening the box there's uh quick initial impressions there's some tupperware in there and a lot of sprues so we'll kind of work through the sprues together uh, but for starters let's check out the tupperware so the tupperware contains a little bit of everything um so so i'm really not into the prices of stuff i'm really just assessing uh, what type of opportunities kind of lay in store for us here and what um, we are going to be able to uh, look at salvage. Uh, looks like we got a shoulder plate kind of stuck here. The shoulder plate stuck right there. Um, or maybe that was meant to be there, but I doubt it. I really look at, uh, looks like we've got a fair group of nids in here. Um, definitely got some nids going on. Some terminators. Um, a little bit of everything. Looks like some standard space marines. These are on the 25 mil bases. This is actually very impressive. Um, so to finish the story, this is basically a bucket that was in the back of a comic book store. Um, that was just filled with a random assortment of stuff. That actually looks really well done. Some of it looks like it was cleaned up a little bit. So there's a little bit of paint underneath here uh, that was cleaned off. Uh, a very, very good job was done. Um, just a variety of stuff, more nids in here. Got some gene stealers, it looks like. Um, and then a ton, a ton of a variety of space marines with fists. Looks like we have some sort of hero here. Any indication as to, I don't see any blood drops or anything else. So I'll have to look into that. Um, some of these, the arms aren't on them, the heads aren't on them. But there are a ton of arms, power packs, heads, torsos loose in the box. We got more nids loose in the box, more gene stealers. Um, and really, this is just going to be an effort in uh, assembly. There's a ton of really good salvage in here um, that we were really just going to have to got power swords, or I'm sorry, chain swords and a little bit of everything. Some of this looks like it's been cleaned at one point. Um, definitely getting kind of the simple green smell out of this box. So a little bit of everything. There's a lot of goodies in the bottom. Looks like we got a knit arm. It's become detached. Uh, probably related to maybe one of these guys. Um, but really there's a, a good assortment in here that just needs to be put back together. Uh, to look at some of these smaller boxes as well. Looks like we got arms, weapons, um, weapons in here, swords in here. Uh, this is where a lot of the arms and power packs went uh, that were maybe kind of dislodged in transit or floated to the bottom of the box. Uh, let's take a look at the sprues. So this one was kind of slipped down the side this looks like a, a pretty standard uh, I would say start collecting probably a four pack or a six pack at one point um, and everything is here it just needs to be popped together uh, a little bit of glue needs to be put on here and that is ready to go um, these are used sprues still have a ton of goodness on here 
uh, intact weapons on here. Um, little bits of goodies, purity seals on here. Uh, lots of swords, lots of assortment. Um, we've got one torso on this side here. That's going to be really good. Same thing here. Tons and tons of weapons. All shapes and sizes. We got a power fist here. Uh, that's our power fist. A little bit of a couple of capes here that we'll be able to do something with. And then we're coming to basically this is a complete. Let me look here. This is complete on the sprue. There's not a single thing missing here. Looks like a partial paint job. Everything from gold. Uh, this is all prime black. Flamers on here. Purity seals partially painted. Um, looks like some sort of librarian and or... Not really great at identifying these, but we got a fully intact sprue. Assortment of weapons, purity seals all on sprue, ready to rock. Looks like we got intact. Oh, we got some wolves. We look like I got wolves. We've got heads for sergeants and heroes, a hammer, two hammers, three hammers. Four hammers. If you're into hammers, we got hammers. Shoulder pauldrons. Look like we've got uh, the pretty standard Space Marine heads on here as well. A couple intact. Five power packs, uh, power plants. More of the same. Purity seals all the way down. Bolters. Got the magazines and a knife and looks like a scope. So someone gets a scope. Uh, partially in tech we got some heavy weapons here cloaks sprue more purity seals here and we have another fully intact sprue with a banner which is the big highlight here big fan of the banners tons of swords all the way across we have a lot of hardware on here that's available to be put together. And another fully intact sprue. Paint job partially complete. Looks like they tried two different types of metallics here. Kind of a gold and then a little bit of a, a pink gold or bronze. Very impressed by all this. And we are still going. Partial sprues, lots of power packs. Got a head of something here. It's kind of hard to see. I'm waiting for this whole pile to slide away in that direction. Lots of backpacks. Assault cannons on here. So we've got the cannons. Everything is here that we need to put it together. Everything looks really, really good here. More accessories, more heads on the sprue, tons of purity seals, tons of, looks like the grenade belt pouches here and across the bottom here. Grenade belt pouches. Again, more heavy weapons. Looks like we've got plasma, power packs, a little variety of everything here across the board. Uh, more shoulder pads, more power packs, more accessories, books. We go, looks like we've got parts here for a, is that a flamer? Spear Caliban type of deal here. A little bit of everything here. I'm gonna start. To, oh, almost lost it. You see that? I'm gonna second pile here. Again, more heavy weapons. Heavy weapons looking really good. 
power packs for it. We got torsos left on the sprue. Um, tons of accessories. Wings on here. Got a head. We've got one, two, three, four swords left on the sprue. New librarian's books. We have absolutely everything on here. Um, I am very impressed. So, now we're getting to the bottom of the bucket here. Got a Space Marine head. Looks like a sergeant with a radio. Got the bald head here. Um, looking really good. A couple of loose sprues down on the bottom. Some tough work. Oh no, shoulder plate. Got a loose shoulder plate in here. In really good shape. Um, the big thing that highlights itself to me is how surprisingly good of shape. Uh, we got some Tupperware in here. It looks like this was probably just used to organize a lot of this stuff at some point. Um, which it probably it definitely will be again. Uh, and we've got half a weapon here as well. So uh, kind of look at weapons here in little bits and pieces. Uh, big thing is we've got full intact nids uh, in the box. I'm actually really excited. This is the first thing that caught my attention. Um, we've got some gene stealers and everything in here as well that we will be able to put together. Um, and I'm a big fan of painting those. Uh, he's going to need, this guy's going to need a little bit of weight in the back here, but we can take care of that. Whoever took a very aggressive stance with this guy and it looks really action packed. Um, but we'll be able to paint that and, um, do some fun stuff. So I really want to focus on um, airbrush work recently. I've been looking at a lot of videos and uh, I think a lot of these will give me the opportunity to uh, assemble Marines um, that are put together and or recover Marines. I think the big priority will be looking at this box specifically and looking at what all the possibilities are in here. Um, we'll get some Marines put together and then I would say that I've got basically an army of test pieces can't forget that shoulder plate um, that we'll be able to work with for quite some time uh, and when I say test pieces I mean that uh, instead of actually focusing on putting together an army with this we'll be able to um, basically look at this as a possibility to try out new paint schemes so with that uh, there's the desk as clean as it's been in a long time got two pieces there ready to ship and then one more in progress as well as some bases I'm doing in the spare time uh, and now we're going to actually be transitioning to something totally different. So thanks for watching. And uh, that's a quick update as well as a, a box opening for a box of free goodies that, um, to finish the story, um, was at the store. And he basically made the guy an offer of 20 bucks for a huge box. And uh, that's a small part of it that he was willing to part with for free to, to me, a buddy on Discord. And... Uh, Definitely excited to take it. Definitely excited to see what I can do with it. So thank you.